Hi everybody, I'm Sam Farmer of the Los Angeles Times. We're heading into week 13 of the NFL season, and I'm here at NFL Films in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. I've got my friend James McCormick from NFL Films holding the camera. I will say that NFL Films is not accountable for the quality of this video. Uh, and spent some time today with Steve Sable, uh, a legend in the NFL, president of NFL Films, and, and a terrific guy. You can read about him in the LA Times in the coming weeks. Uh, let's look at the games. I understand my shirt is psychedelic on video, so I'll try to be quick here. We've got the Saints, the undefeated 11-0 Saints playing at the Redskins. I like the Saints in this game 30-13. to uh, I don't think they're going to fall prey to a trap game. Uh, next, we've got the undefeated Colts playing host to the Titans. Now, they beat the Titans earlier this year with Kerry Collins at quarterback. Now Vince Young has won five games in a row for the Titans. Chris Johnson, the most dangerous offensive weapon in the game right now. This is a different team. I still think the Colts, who have won five consecutive games where they've come from behind in the fourth quarter, I think the Colts are going to win this, but it's going to be close. I've got the Colts winning 20, 23 to 20. Next, we've got the Chargers playing at the Browns. The Chargers are one of the hottest teams in the league right now, won five in a row, and they've uh, clearly solved some of the problems especially on defense that they had earlier this year. The Chargers, I have them winning 30-6. to six. Uh, It's really uh, a layup for them, but the only problem would be if they uh, fell prey to a trap game. And finally, we've got Minnesota playing the Cardinals. Two teams playing very well right now. Brett Favre, just three interceptions this season. Uh, a career low at this point. And uh, the Vikings are going to win this game. Especially, you know, the Cardinals are playing very well, although I don't think Kurt Warner is going to play, so Matt Leinert is, to some degree, a drop-off, although he played pretty well last week. I still think Minnesota is going to win this 28-24. to uh, Remember to check my full slate of picks in Friday's Los Angeles Times and on LATimes.com.